This is the plaintiff, Robert Mason III. He says he purchased a pontoon boat from the defendant, and the guy promised him a cover for it. He's had one heck of a time dealing with the defendant, hasn't been able to get the cover he paid for, and has had his wits end with this punk. He's here suing for $1,300, the value of the boat cover he never received. This is the defendant, Brian Purcell. He says he told the defendant he thought he had a stripper pole and a cover for the boat somewhere, and if he could find them, they were his. Well, unfortunately, he couldn't find the cover, and the plaintiff started freaking out like a little baby. Bottom line, these things weren't part of the deal, and due to the plaintiff's ridiculous attitude, he's not giving it to him. He's accused of a big cover-up. All parties, please raise your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff bought a pontoon boat from the defendant and says he got screwed out of the cover. But the defendant says he Let's never firmly complaint. promised the cover. It is the case of, I got you covered. You. Thank you, Douglas. Robert Mason III, you are suing Brian Purcell for $1,300, the estimate for a cover for a pontoon that you bought from him. Tell me what happened. Uh, we went down to uh, look at the boat the first night, made a deposit on it. Uh, Brian told me Where that had you seen the boat for sale? Craigslist. Okay. Do you happen to have the Craigslist uh, No. Ad? Original Do ad. You? No. Okay. Uh, so I went down t uh, to look at the boat. Um, when we gave him a deposit, he said he had a pontoon boat cover that came with it. He had to check his um, schema bill trailer or his shed and he get back to me. Okay, so wait, back it up. So how much of a deposit did you put down? 500. So you put down 500 and after you put that down, he says to you, I have a cover. Yep. Okay, so go on. Uh, so a couple of days went by and I was texting back and forth with him. Um, he told me he'd, he'd give me the pontoon boat cover. Do you when remember he... if the ad said anything about the cover? No, it didn't. No. I didn't ask you. No, I don't remember anything about the cover, but he did say to Lisa and I that he would get it for us. Right. And this was after you paid the $500 deposit? Yeah. But before you paid the balance? Yes, please. Okay, yes. so go on. Um, so I, I texted back and forth, all nice messages. A couple days went by. I texted him again. Well, when did you bring the balance? Uh, the next, the following day. Okay. Yeah, and he said he'd look for it, and we texted back and forth. Um, I think on the seventh. Wait. I so when you came in the following day with the balance, did, what did he tell you about having looked for it? He hadn't found it yet, and he was going to look for it. Okay. Uh, to him, it seemed like a big deal to even find it for me. Um, so um, I kept texting back and forth, and he said, "I'll let you know when I get it." Um, then a couple of days later, I texted him. He said, "I don't have it." So what's the big deal? Stop bothering me. Um, upon going back after going to the registry where the paperwork wasn't, it was forged signature on the paperwork, the registry sent me back to get all new copies, um, have them sign all new paperwork. Wait, what are you talking about now? What's the registry? Uh, I had to register the boat a couple of days after I got it. Okay, and then what was, what was forgery? Um, the bill of sale signature didn't match the title. He had his friend sign it. Okay. So the lady at the registry was trying to get a hold of him. She finally did. He sent me back, um, she sent me back down to his property to get all the paperwork re-signed. He told me um, that I'm a royal pain in the ass. Um, and he also said, I found the pontoon boat cover, but you're such a that I am not gonna give it to you. So I clinched my steering wheel and drove away. Okay. Um, on the day where you were clenching your steering wheel, mm -hmm. um, was that the day that you were getting the new paperwork from him yes. or something? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And he had already told me what him, stop bothering him. He doesn't have the cover. So that was a couple of days before I went back to get new paperwork. And then on the day of the paperwork, he tells you, I have it, but I'm not going to give it to you because yeah, you're I'm such, such a, a pain in the ass okay. and all this stuff. All right. What's going on? Let me hear your version. Um, he don't even know what's going on. He, Wait, he did, he, I don't even know what's going on? Not him. He doesn't. Oh. He, um, there was no mention of the cover till after, like the first day he came down to deposit. That after he already paid for the thing, titles already exchanged, bill of sales, the whole nine yards. He has his boat hooked up to his truck. He's about to leave. His wife's in the car. Um, I'm like, hey, you want to know what? I actually have a cover because he's actually being nice, whatever. Okay. And I'm like, so if, I, if I can back find it. Back it up, back I'm it up. Like, I, I, so according to you, the first time you mentioned the cover is when? Completely at the last second before he left when he was picking up the boat. After he had already paid for the full amount? Yes. So the guy kind of said, hey, you know, if I find the cover, I'll give it to you. 
Is he responsible for turning that cover over if he found it? It would be the right thing to do, but I don't think he's legally responsible. Because it's kind of loosey goosey. Yeah, I mean, it would be the yeah. it would be the nice, the kind thing to do. Okay, but we're not talking kind these days. <laughs> um, no, he doesn't have to give the cover over because they don't have it in writing. Well, but the deal itself was not in writing. The whole thing was orally by the boat. Well, that's the um, buyers. You know, that's their issue. So he should have had it in writing. Okay, pretty harsh going inside the courtroom. He was like, I'm like, I have a cover, but I'm like, it ripped in a couple winters ago, you know, I mean, but like, if I find it, I'll give it to you. You know, I mean, that's freaking fine, you know, and whatever, but you know, I mean, that's whatever. So then uh, a couple days goes by, he's like, oh, I need my cover, it's raining, blah, blah, blah. It's the middle of summer, he needs a cover for a pontoon boat, it's gonna get wet anyway. He's like, if you don't uh, give me the cover, I'm gonna sue you for 600 bucks, all kinds of crap. I just told him to buzz off or whatever, and then like the rest of the story, like he said. But it was like, it was, it was an Do you have the cover? Yeah, I do have the cover. <laughs> What you just you were dying to see me? No, I didn't want I don't want to come here. No, he's, but guys, see, he's, I, well, that's the part annoying. I don't get like, because if you'd have just he's given him the cover, we wouldn't be here, right? He's a you... baby though. He's just annoying it. I don't care. This is foolish. That's right. Foolish. But when had you found the cover? I had the next day. <laughs> so then why are you such a jerk? Because you're a little bit of a jerk. I know. I, I don't know. He just he, I don't know, he rubbed me wrong. I didn't care. It but, wasn't a day, it wasn't promised, it wasn't promised with the the um the boat, it was just like in a, like if I found oh, it. Oh, I don't know, it's I don't ripped, know. It's ripped too, like, I mean, I already explained to him it was ripped from like oh, the snow. Was yeah, a the cover the only thing you told him you would look for, find, and no, give No, I him? have a stripper pole too, I was gonna give him. A stripper pole. Nice. <laughs> you have tall. a stripper pole. Who's that nice lady with you? It's my girlfriend, Lisa. Okay, were you enthusiastic about the stripper pole, Not Lisa? <laughs> oh, okay. So you told him you'd give him the stripper pole. Apparently, to his credit, he didn't really push you on the stripper pole. No, no, but the cover would be nice, and you found it the next day. And why? Just because a guy calls you a few more times than you would like, why no, would you just, just like, say he was come like pick it up? He's threatening me, and then he's like, he acts all nice here. He's like, wait, he but he's you like said you badass. found it the next day, so yeah. he wasn't threatening you the next day. And frankly, what's this about the forgery and the all that? No, my my because I don't like dealing with people. I got people problems. You know, I'm not a good person. I but, can see. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so. Uh, so I had my buddy sell the boat, but my buddy just gave him a bill of sale. Yeah, but your up. buddy can't forge your signature. He just did it on the bill of sale. I signed the I title. I don't care. The bill of sale doesn't match it. You gave the... In other words, here's what it is. I understand, but we straightened that all No, 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 no press the off button. Yeah. I need you to press the off button. Yeah. Seriously. Fun is fun, but at the end of the day, you ended up costing this guy the extra trouble of having to drive over, waste a day at DMV. Away. Why didn't you go to DMV? It's because it's a pain in the butt, right? I have no reason to go there. No, well, actually, hold just a moment. I'll look for your phrase. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Hold sure. on. Let's see. Sometimes I sign the title, and sometimes my buddy does and goes down to the registry because I don't like dealing with those people <laughs> at the registry. <laughs> so you make him go twice to deal with the people you don't want to deal with because you did something you don't, you can't really he do. He had to go there once. He only had to go an extra time, and it was yeah, an extra my, time. And that means, and by the way, he had to go an extra time because you had your buddy forge your signature. He, and wait a second, and that's the guy who you won't just give the stupid cover to that you found the next day? Yeah. Shy. Give him the cover. Yeah. Okay? That's fine. All right. Give him the cover, man. I'll give him the we pole should give him a beer. Not that it's not fun. Yeah, I hope it pole. was fun for you guys. Okay? <laughs> give him the cover, because otherwise, you're really not going to like this, because I'm going to make you pay for the cover. And yeah. you shouldn't get a new cover. You should just get the cover you've got, right? Yeah, that's fine. Right. Okay. So give him the cover. That's what we're going to do. All right, folks? Yeah. And your court costs. Yes, I know. Yeah, what else? What, no, I was just going to say, what if what if he put new rips in the cover because he hates me so bad? That's what I was saying. I don't think he's going to do that. He's a baby. Guys okay, a baby. no, baby. no, you're both babies. It's always two babies meeting. I usually use a different word. But yes, it's, it's usually, if it gets this far on a used cover, it is usually two babies meeting. That is what occurred. Sure. Okay? Yeah. But, and, you know, it, 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 just don't put more rips in it. There's, yes, there, there's no rips in it now, right? It's no. just old. Okay, so just, just. Just, you know, you know what? Will you go pick up the cover so these two don't have any more contact? Absolutely. Okay, yeah, absolutely. beautiful, right? All right, guys, good luck. Bye now, thank Bye. you. Bye. All right, hold on right there. So the plaintiff will get the cover. Mr. Purcell, the defendant's on his way out of the court. I'm surprised you admitted you have people problems with the judge. What do you mean by that? I don't know. Do you do have people problems a lot a of times? Bit. Possibly a little bit. And yeah, maybe you do. Also, clarify the stripper pole. Wait, uh, does that have anything to do with the boat? Yeah, uh, I had it mounted on the boat. It's 12 feet tall. It's uh, neon orange, and uh, it's pretty nice. <laughs> it's for strippers? 
to do dance? That kind of oh, friends, home? ladies, yeah. Okay, cool. We like to well, pa- we party hard. All right, you party boat. Okay, yeah. you are going to give the cover back. Oh, I am. Good course. enough. Okay, cool. Thank right. you very much. Congratulations. Now here come comes Mr. Mason, the plaintiff, and his girlfriend. Sorry, I had to come to the court for this, but uh, you okay? I'm fine. All right. We got what we wanted. All right. Yes. yes. Including the stripper pole. Uh, no. Oh, no. No, you're not going to no, get that. That gets thrown out. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Very Congratulations. Good. All right. Harvey? <laughs> okay, Doug. I mean, I don't know how many times I've seen something like this. That there was no point of going to court in this case. The defendant gained absolutely nothing by going to court. You've got to think, what am I fighting for? And if you're not fighting for anything, just settle with the person. <laughs>